little feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. <laughs> Leo, check it out. The fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Oh, uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hey, careful! Oh, my Micah! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your step! Elsa! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Elsa! Elsa's coming! Oh, that's Bielsa! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! He's hero! safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy! And that's why we like to invite you to a feast! In your honor! Feast in my honor? This is so awesome! I'm a hero! 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 Tig, hero. you can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight! Praise the hero! Hey, you need to be more careful carrying me. Don't let the hero fall, right? Oh, hero, take the courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. <sighs> it's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> Is that my picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Hey! Made it! That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come on, hero. it's nothing. Praise Seriously. The, the second deed! The second the deed! Hero. Oh, your royal hero. highness! It's the second heroic deed! Take this! Get out of here! The third deed! It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right! The hero. It's so much fun Praise being a hero. hero! Praise the hero! Oh, great hero Tig! <laughs> the legend's telling the truth! You came back to us again! The legend? Huh. <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend. It happened a long, long time ago. <gasps> Weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome!
them. What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! Praise and now when hero! you are here, you will Praise chase away the, the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Bilza. Bilza? <laughs> Bilza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero. hero! Praise the hero! Hey, you! Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero! I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba, catch! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning. Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? I could be at home right now with Leo. Hero! 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 hero. Lemmings! The time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero! Do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No! The hero's ready! <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you! some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. Scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Beelza got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we used to scare away Bielsa is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! <laughs> the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. 
<laughs> oh, you're a wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig. You're hopeless. <laughs> The Silver River. Are you sick? Oh, no. I was just having such a dream. A dream? What was it about? I was flying over a silver river. And it was so awesome. <laughs> a flying leopard? I like to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh, hey, Leo. I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the Silver River! Just like in my dream! <gasps> Whoa! Leo! Leo! No! Leo! This is just a bunch of moths. Come on, Leo. There's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream. It wasn't just any dream. It was the best dream ever. And I was flying in it. Oh, dear. We've upset our friend. And on his birthday, too. Um. Mapa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday. Um. And he really um. wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River? <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mapa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon named Mazu. He was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done. So they asked the river to make his dream come true. The river then turned silver and lifted him up, and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver but only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world, and Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the spotted one gives it to us by choice. <laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. And then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll idea. save him. Yeah. And then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and, and what is that dangerous place? It's uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock! What was the spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. 
<laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> Leopards don't fly. But I did fly. Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially cool. The Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow! Of course I want to! Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! Ah! Hey! Watch it, okay? Oh! I can see Leo! And the Martins! Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock! What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm. Something's not right. Come on! We have to follow them! <laughs> Go! Go over there! To the very edge! I can't see anything! Hey, 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 
far away, in the infinitely vast expanses of the sky, high above the tallest mountains and the prettiest clouds, way up high is where the Red Deer lives. Sometimes he ventures down to the ground. The patter of his hooves makes the sound of thunder, while the gleaming of his silver antlers makes the lightning. Being always hungry, he tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees as if they were grass blades. Nobody is safe from him. So if you see the red deer, Run! <laughs> so there, that is how the story goes, kids. The Red Deer. You see? We're building a house dam, obviously. Stay out of our way. And two, three! Whoa, look at that! It's a bridge! I've never been on the other side of the river before. <laughs> More reason, then, to check it out. Do you mind if we cross here, Mr. Beaver? Sure, go ahead. Just be careful. No, we can't do that. My mom says... No, she doesn't. You're just afraid. Stop making excuses. Tig, come on. Afraid? Me? I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, don't just stand there. Get back to work. Ugh. Oh, wow. Look at that giant tree. I've never seen anything so huge! Ah, oh, the great cedar. The father of the forest. Looks like a regular old tree. Let's go! <gasps> what if it doesn't want us to go any farther? <laughs> yeah, right. You make it sound as if the tree is magical or something. You don't know. What if it is magical? <laughs> Bunch of chickens. Me? Let's go. <laughs> Told you. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Mm-hmm. Sure. Just a bunch of birds. Hey, what's wrong? 
That's what the magical tree tried to warn us about. He tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees. So if you see the red deer... long. I hope they didn't get lost. Oh, no. Oh, look! Look! Over there! There's someone running! <laughs> Marty! Oh, that's my Marty! Marty! I'm here! The trees are gonna burn down! Come on, come on, come on! And two, and three, yeah! And again! The red deer! It's too close! Oh, we're not gonna make it! Jump on the log, quick! Marty! Uh -oh. Leo, do we really have to go in the water? Take again! Really? <laughs> It's just that it's a little too wet. Tig, paddle on! Uh, So you all right? 
Wait, I was looking for you everywhere. The red deer is not to be trifled with. Mappa Pandiga, we are fine. You should have seen us take down the red deer. And we saved the forest. Meow. <laughs> hey, look, now there's four leopards among us. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm a leopard. Okay, fine. The most precious thing. Tig! Are you still sleeping? Come out here! Boom! Who's sleeping? I've been up for a while. Well, are you ready for the competition? For the competition? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm ready, uh, I think. In that case, <laughs> I'll race in there! Hey, wait! <sighs> That's not fair! You have to say, on your mark, and ready! Set, go! <laughs> <laughs> Cause, uh, you've got longer legs. Oh, come on, Tig. <laughs> legs have nothing to do with it. You just have to train more often. I have been training. Uh, like last week, uh, twice. Quiet, you two. Enough, kids. You shouldn't argue unless you want the same thing to happen to you as what happened to the kingfisher and the owl. What, what happened, happened to them? them? Once upon a time, when the great cedar was just a teeny tiny little seed, there were two birds living in the forest, two good friends, the white-throated kingfisher and the owl. The two were inseparable, doing everything together and always helping each other out. But then one day, the kingfisher saw his reflection and became arrogant. He started to boast, just look at my wonderful feathers. I'm so handsome and colorful, and you are nothing but gray. That hurt the owl's feelings, so he flew away into the wild woods. What? Into the wild woods? As in, as in, the wild woods are not for play? It's better if you stay away? Exactly, that's the one. Left without his friend, the kingfisher grew sad. And so, he decided to find the owl and apologize for the things he said. The kingfisher flew to the grizzled waterfall and asked him earnestly, please, Help me. Show me how to find my friend. The waterfall agreed to help the kingfisher, but only in exchange for his bright and colorful plumage. The kingfisher broke into tears. This is the most valuable thing I have. Nevertheless, he gave away his brightly colored feathers and got his friend back. And suddenly, he realized that he got it wrong. The most valuable thing was actually... Leo! Tig! I've been looking for you! Hurry up! The competition's about to start! Everybody's waiting for you! Oh, Mappa Pandiga, how are you? The competition? Wow, that's right! Tig! We completely forgot about uh -huh. it! Let's go! <sighs> Let the competition begin right now! Yeah! Competitors will run along the forest trail around the giant hill and come back to this spot. Our racers are Tig, Cuba, Mila, and our three time favorite winner, Leo! <laughs> Is everyone ready? On your mark? And get set! Oh, my God. 
yet. We'll see who comes in first. So great. <laughs> Thanks for the crown. <laughs> That's not fair. Tig, tell them. Woohoo! <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Upset, Leo. If it weren't for your shortcut, I would have won. Or you wouldn't have won. Ah, uh, calm down. It's just a race. Not fair. You don't get it. You've won many times, and I never win. So what if I win this time? Oh, Leo, what was that? Help! Somebody help me! <laughs> I think it's coming from there. From, from the, the wild, wild woods! Help me! Somebody save me! <laughs> help me! Please! I'm scared! <laughs> please! You gotta help me! Hold on! Please, please. We're coming! Help! Please help me! Please! Please! I'll get him! Please! Hey! Hurry up! Please! Leo! Please! Stop. I can't go any further! Uh, uh, I need to take a break! No time for a break! Come on, champion! Let's go! But I'm not a champion! You're the Dude, winner! Now is not the time. We need to save that poor bunny! I can't, Leo! Fine. I'll run after him, and you go get his help! Find him no matter what. Why am I wearing this thing? It's wrong. Leo was the real winner. I lied to you. Oh, wow. Look, it's just like in the story. Come on, guys, this way. Follow me. <laughs> I want my mom. Don't be scared. My friend Tig, he's going to come and bring help. We'll get out of here. Wow! Look! A rainbow! A rainbow? Unbelievable! Leo! Beautiful rainbow! Leo! Tig! This is so Tig, great. we're down here at the bottom! Amazing! That's Tig. He made it! That's great! Yay! Leo! I found you! I told everyone the truth, that you're the real winner. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, Tig, forget about that. It's all good. Get us out of here already. Climb up now, but be careful. Leo! Tig! High five! <laughs> So, whose wreath is it? Leo's! No, this is Tig's wreath. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tig, first one to the old cedar is the winner. <laughs> Just a second. 
I'm gonna... Ha! Train harder! <laughs> All right, I'm definitely getting there first. <laughs> you better run. Go ahead! I'll be waiting for you there. I so. <laughs> I'm gonna get there first! You two are as slow as turn off! <laughs> Here. Sorry. Proceeding with collecting a new shipment of cones. Flying high. Whew. Almost ready. We just need to reinforce it from inside. Leo, let's leave it. It's fine like that. <laughs> hi, everyone. Glad to oh, see hi, you. Oh, hi, Mila. We're off to get more branches. You stay here and keep watch. Uh-huh. Uh, I got it. We've been gathering these branches all day long. If we keep going, the trees will be bare. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm gu... Who am I guarding it from? <laughs> All right. The spotty and the stripey went away. Hey, get on over here now, shorty. <laughs> this is our meadow now, with all its raspberries. What do you mean it's yours? The meadow is public, and the fortress is ours. <laughs> it used to be, but not anymore. <laughs> Martins, attack! Get her! No! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> oh, dear me! <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah! You nailed him, guys! Mila, don't be afraid! <laughs> I'm not, you know! Hold on! The help is coming! Martins, shoot! Hey, bush leaguers! <laughs> you can't get me! Whoa, you missed! Ah. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Try again, guys! Oh, ow! He actually hit me! Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Bees? <laughs> hey, Shorty! Get out of our fortress! Oh, you're all alone now! <laughs> Go! <laughs> She's not alone. Ah, the spotted one. This is our fortress. It used to be. It's not anymore. So I've been carrying these branches for nothing? Martins, attack! Ah, oh. ah, ah, oh. ah, Martins, fall back! <laughs> this is not over yet! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right. And that don't come back! That. You hear that? I hope you learned your lesson! And don't try <laughs> to scare me again! <laughs> I can't believe this. We got beaten by the spotty and the stripey. Shame on our heads. <gasps> Look here. This is Beals's lair. Well, well, I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Mmm, raspberry. Nice, sweet raspberry. Lots of it. Lots of it. And then 
then Mila screams, attack them! <laughs> Did you see me? I grabbed one of them. Boom! And that was it. The fight was over. And I'm like, don't you come back. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome! <laughs> That'll teach you not to get in our way. It's our meadow now, with raspberries and everything. So, hey, guys, does it mean that our meadow and our fortress, all of that is gone? Calm down, Mila. We'll get it all back. Yeah, sure we will. Wait, Leo, did you see it? We're not strong enough. We can't beat Beals. I think I know someone who can help us. Uh, dear Mr. Beals, <laughs> we, we had a deal that half of the raspberries would be ours. Okay, okay. We get it. We totally get it. We do. We totally do. We're leaving already. Run! <laughs> 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 oh, no, kids. <laughs> I'm a bit too old to fight the brown bear. You are our only chance to beat him. Leo, let's give up and go to the river. Wait a minute. Mapa Pandiga, so there's no animal in the forest stronger than the brown bear? Ha. <laughs> Once upon a time, brown bears had no reason to doubt that. There was no animal stronger than them. So the brown bear grew vain and started to abuse his power, doing bad things. But for every power, there's an even stronger power. The spirit of the tiger always has his children's back. What do we do now? Search for the spirit of Tyga again so he chases Beals away? No. We'll get him ourselves. Okay. Mila, I need you to distract Beals. And Cuba, sneak up on his right side. <laughs> <laughs> You! Tig! Look at who decided to visit us. Shush! That glutton kicked us out. He promised to share the raspberries with us. <laughs> Let me guess he didn't. Sure enough! Okay. Right now, we need to join forces and chase him away. Well, are you with us? For sure. We're with you. But we go 50-50 on the raspberries. <laughs>
here to help us. <laughs> but how did he know? That's right. Run away. Go on, run faster. The spirit of Tyga is going to get you. <laughs> Bye, bees. Thank you for helping. You go defeat another enemy. For his valor and outstanding flying, Marty is rewarded with a delicious raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are good raspberries. <laughs> the Eagle Rock. <laughs> all right, all right, Tig, you beat me. Come on, get off. You're really squishing my tail. Yay! Woohoo! Tig is the winner. Tig is the strongest. <laughs> Tig, King, King of the, the Taiga. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. Mappa Pandiga. Good morning, Mappa Pandiga. Good morning, children. Leo and I are just playing. <laughs> playing what? King of the Taiga. Tig's the king. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Amur Tiger once earned the right to be called the King of the Taiga. Just like the white shouldered eagle is the King of the Sky. The King of the Sky? I've never really heard of him. Tell us the story, Mappa Pandiga. Pretty, pretty, please? <sighs> it was a long time ago. There was no order among the bird folk. The strong would wrong the weak, and no one was there to stand up for them. Then, the birds got together and decided to choose themselves a king who would be kind, strong, and fair. The choice fell on the eagle. But, the jealous vulture cried out, He needs to prove that he's the strongest. Let's have a competition. He who's the first to get to the top of a high mountain at sunrise will become the king. And so it was set. But at night, the vulture stole the eagle's wings, put them on, and flew to the summit. But when the sun came up, it scorched the sneaky vulture and made him turn black. And the eagle received a pair of new wings from the sun. Thus he became white-shouldered. And that's how they've been ever since. The white-shouldered eagle, the king of the sky, and the black vulture who was left to feed on nothing but carrion. Mappa Pandiga, so where... Where did those old eagle wings go? I don't know. Probably still somewhere on the Eagle Mountain. All right, kids, that's enough for today. I've got things to do. <laughs> Tig, do you want to go for a walk? Walk where? Well, nowhere special, really. Just wander around a bit. I'm pretty good right here. Leo, what are you up to? Come on, King of the Taiga! Just a little more! Yeah, so what? It's nothing special. Of all the places to wander, you want to come here? What's the big deal? No big deal. But there are no wings lying around in other places. What are you saying? Come on, Tig. We're climbing the Eagle Mountain! Are you insane? It's the highest, most dangerous mountain, period. Leo, Tig! Oh boy, they're about to fall. Uh, I must call everyone for help. Uh. Grandpa, I'm gonna do a run up and soar into the air. Oh, it's such a pity that you won't be able to see it. A run? <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't count. This time I'm definitely gonna fly. <laughs> of course you're gonna fly. You're an eagle. It's just that, well, you're not ready yet. But I feel like I'm ready. A run, a jump. <laughs> Elder Eagle. We've just seen a leopard and a tiger on the mountain, climbing to the top. Wow, awesome! I wonder what they're doing here. 
We'll find out soon enough. Leo, why do we even need wings? They're not that great. Think about it. Once you get yourself some wings, you can become not just the king of the taiga, but of the sky, too. Why should I care about the sky? I'm perfectly fine with the taiga. Take Push it closer to the rock! Leo, you're kicking up too many rocks! It's not me! It's a stone ball! Otherwise, we'd be crushed by those stones. Tell me this. What business has brought Wingless to our mountain? We... we just wanted to find ourselves some wings so that Tig could become a real king of the sky. <laughs> king of the sky? Having wings is not enough for that. Uh, I've got wings right here. When do I become the king? It's the vultures! How dare they show up at our beautiful mountains! Don't worry, sir. We'll take care of them. You better leave this place now and hurry. Well, old man. Long time no see, as they say. <gasps> Grandpa, that's the black vulture! Ah. It's you! I've thrown you out of these mountains more than once before! <laughs> yes, but this time your guardians are far away, and you've become a feeble, lame, and blind old geezer! <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Let the young one go! No, I will not! Say goodbye to your little hatchling! No, please! Grandpa! Stay here! I'll be right back. Help me. Lily, go. wait. Hey, you. Let him go ah. right now. And who's this little nuisance? Grab him. <laughs> no, Leo. No, 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 no. Goodbye, Grandpa. old man. Grandpa Eagle, we need to save them. My wings are still very strong and powerful, but I'm blind. I know. I can be your eyes and I'll guide you. You, who were born without wings, are not scared of flying? Oh, I'm really scared, but we can't abandon them. Let's go! To the left. To the right. A bit more. Aha! We've almost caught up with them. He slipped into a ravine. Ah, uh, the passage is too narrow. I spent my entire life among these incredible mountains. I know every blessed rock here. Initiate the countdown. Three, two, one, and go! Whoa, yeah! That was awesome! We've caught up with them! You wretched old man! I underestimated you! But you won't get them The back. vultures dropped them! They're falling! We have to catch them! Go down! Quick! <laughs> I can fly! I can fly, Grandpa! I'll be our eyes now! Enough flying for me. Can we land? So you are saying that they were climbing on the Eagle Mountain? Oh, I really shouldn't have told Leo and Tig that Eagle legend. Oh dear. Look there! What's that way up above? That's Leo! <gasps> and Tig! They're flying! 
Grandpa! This way! <laughs> Land now! Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Oh, no. I should thank you, brave-hearted tiger. You are a king indeed. A king? Who? Tig? Come visit us when you can. We'll always be glad to see you. For sure. We'll fly you around. Grandpa, follow me. Let's go home. Goodbye. Goodbye. Flying? Well, uh, thanks, but <laughs> that's okay. I think I'll Well, pass. then, King, you want to play tag? You're it. Forget about it, Mila. I'm no king. Ha! Whoa. Reels it! Whoa. It's not those who are strong and cunning who inspire tales, but those who are brave and kind. <laughs>